Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today explaining how to uh, change your clutch fluid on your Cadillac CTSV. Um, I guess most of them probably, most people out there probably don't have a clutch in their Cadillac, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this car does. So I'm gonna explain uh, how to do it. Um, I'm not gonna go into like crazy detail, but I'll explain how to do it, how to be careful about doing it, um, and I'll show you all the materials that you need. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have. Uh... I have paper towels, I have an empty water bottle uh, for putting some brake fluid into to dispose of, um, and I have uh, some dot three and four brake fluid. Uh, I bought a big bottle, it's 32 ounces, because I'm gonna cycle it a few times to make sure that I get fresh fluid uh, into the system and get all the old stuff out. Uh, also, um, really good way to make sure you get all the fluid out uh, of, the, of the top reservoir um, is to use uh, some sort of syringe. So. Uh, I have this uh, I have this marinator here this this like uh, syringe we're gonna use this to remove all the all the fluid and uh, get get down in the reservoir so I'm gonna crack this open put on some gloves and we'll get started all right guys so you're gonna pop the uh, pop the reservoir open I've already set out some paper towels so that I can spread some stuff out without making a mess you definitely don't want to get this on your paint uh, you don't want any of this brake fluid on your paint or uh, probably on anything else either. Uh, I know it'll eat paint up pretty quick and, uh, and, and make stuff rust, so be very careful. Um, so I'm gonna pop this off. It's kind of difficult with one hand. <clears throat> make sure this doesn't get on anything. I'm gonna set this over here. And uh, my big concern here was, uh, you can see, you can see this fluid is getting low. Uh, this is below the fill line. Um, I had surgery and was in bad shape recently. Um, didn't drive my car much for the past like two months. Uh, but I had checked this recently before that and I was in good shape and it was definitely up near the max and the fluid didn't look too bad. Um, but over the past two months, I guess, uh, I've only probably put maybe 5,000 miles on it. And uh, unfortunately, the fluid has gotten really dark and uh, it's getting low, so I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know why it's. It, I don't know why this is happening. It's not like I've been driving the car rough, or tracking it, or anything like that. Um, like I said, I had surgery, so I've kind of been babying it and haven't been driving that much. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna extract this fluid with the syringe. Um, I don't think I'll be able to video that because I need to be really careful. But I'm gonna use this syringe. I'm gonna stick it down in there, suck all the fluid out, and put it into that empty water bottle. Um, and then once that's all out, I'm gonna fill it back up with the fresh fluid and then, uh, then I'll hop in the car and I'll cycle the clutch um, probably 20 or 30 times to make sure that all that fluid gets circulated, all the fresh fluid is circulated through the system. Then I'm gonna pop the cap off, take a look at this again and see how dirty the fluid looks. Probably do that three or four times uh, until the fluid looks good. So I'll get back to you guys when it's time to pump the clutch. Well. Here's why you need to change your clutch fluid uh, probably every 20,000 miles. I don't know if this was ever done. It was in for service, but I'm assuming they didn't actually do it. Car's got 42,000 miles, and like I said, I checked it uh, around 37 when I did the when I did my oil change a few months ago, um, and the, it looked fine. But now I literally just dug a hunk of some like black goo out of there. I just dug it out of there. It was floating around in the. Uh, in the reservoir and that looks disgusting i'm assuming whatever that is is uh something that's probably s some hosing that's falling apart or something in there but you know getting eaten up by the by the fluid i don't know i'm assuming that's what it is the inside of some rubber hosing or something but um that's nasty if anybody knows what that is please let me know and if there's a way to prevent that from happening um but uh, i'm assuming that's why you need to change your fluid more often so anyway pulled that hunk out of there that's disgusting it was just floating around in there um, I'm going to keep on draining this, and uh, then I'll get back to you guys. It's, it's a nasty, like, dark brown fluid. Um, it looks pretty gross in there, but, yeah, we'll keep on. Okay, so I pulled out the nasty old fluid that was, like, really dark brown. Replaced it with some fresh fluid. Looks kind of a reddish-brown color. Um, I'll show you guys. It still has a dark tint to it. Um, but I put the cap back on the reservoir, hopped in the car, and now I'm going to pump the clutch uh, 20 to 30 times um, just to circulate the fluid through the system um, and replace some of that old nasty fluid with clean fluid and then I'll suck the fluid back out of the reservoir put fresh fluid back in it put the cap back on and cycle the clutch pedal again so here we go 20 or 30 times all right 
So it's like with the clutch pedal about 30 times. I'm gonna crack this open, see what the fluid looks like. Damn, having some difficulty with one hand here. Okay, oh, it caps off. That's what the fluid looks like. Much cleaner than it was, but as you can see, it's still pretty grimy. So uh, I'm gonna suck that out, replace it, and uh, circulate it a few more times. And I'll get back. All right, guys, that's my last cycle of fluid. You can see the difference there from brown, and it's getting red because it's getting clearer and clearer, but now it's as clear as it comes in the bottle. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't see down in there, but. It's got a little bit of like a yellowish tint to it, but that's what it looks like coming out of the bottle. So that's as clear as you want it to be. This is what I just pulled out of the reservoir, getting rid of this fluid, and I'm gonna fill it up, top it off with some uh, fresh fluid, and uh, I'll be good to go. Okay, so I used probably 12 ounces. It was about a third of the bottle. There it is, nice and crystal clear now. I got it filled up to the uh, max line, and uh, I'm gonna put the cap on and uh, call it a day. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, just be really careful. Make sure you don't get any of this brake fluid on anything. Uh, it definitely will eat up your paint and, uh, and rust stuff out. So be really careful. You don't want it on your hands either. It's definitely not good for you. Uh, I was wearing gloves most of the time, but now I'm all finished. I'm cleaning up. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a great day and enjoy.